guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I have this super easy fall inspired look, liner, and a bold lip. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. And let's get started with the tutorial. Um, excuse my voice, I am currently sick. Um, yeah, it's been hard to, like, it's been really hard to, like, fall asleep, and it's, like, so annoying. Um, I have, like, really bad allergies, and it's just really bad. Um, like, getting sick and with allergies, like, the combination is horrible. Um, I am in love with my new Starbucks cup. Um, it has, it's, like, studded, and, like, it's, like, iridescent. It's, like, me in a cup. Like, come on. Um, I'm like drinking water. I need to buy lemon. Um, I started drinking water with lemon and I really, really enjoy the taste. Um, the taste? <laughs> the taste. Um, and right now I'm like, I'm like sick, so. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. For today, I'm gonna start. I mean, oh my god, I hate being sick. Like, I'm so stuffy. And I don't like it. Okay, for foundation, no. You know what? No. I need to moisturize my face because it is extremely extremely dry I have no idea I mean obviously I have an idea like the weather sucks here in San Diego right now it's like like hot outside it's supposed to be fall I'm not happy with this weather it's just I'm used to be I used to be oily now right now like I feel so dry like right here I'm sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder I'm not actually gonna go ahead and close so I keep like looking at the camera and I have a monitor right here so if I know that if I'm like out of focus like I'll know here uh, but yeah I'm gonna use my first day beauty ultra pre cream for my moisturizer and I think I mentioned on my couple videos back that um, I kind of like stopped wearing like primer and I'm just been using this moisturizer kind of like to like prep my skin for foundation um, and I've actually really enjoyed it. This is a really, really good moisturizer. Um, people usually use it at night. But like I said, I'm extremely dry. I'm going to go ahead and start with my Colourpop foundation. This is the Look Good version. I actually did a comparison video with this foundation and the stick foundation. I'm going to be linking it up here as well as on my description box. And I'm just using a sponge to apply that on my face. So I just finished watching um, the movie To All The Boys I've Loved and it is such a good movie. If you guys haven't watched it, I really, really recommend it. It's a really good like romantic movie. I love like romantic comedy like movies and the movie is so cute. Both like Laura Jean and um, for Peter, they're so cute. Like, it's a really good movie. I really, really enjoy that. I'm going to grab my ColourPop Stick Foundation in the shade Dark 161N. And I'm just going to use this to contour. Okay, now I'm going to conceal with my Tarte Shape Tape. And against this color foundation, like, it looks really dark, but in person, like, once I blend everything, um, it looks, looks good. And I'm just going to take my Maybelline um, powder, the Fit Me powder, and bake a little bit. I'm gonna now contour my face with the with <laughs> with the Wet n Wild contour palette, and I have it in color Dulce de Leche. Um, I just started watching. I mean, not started watching. I literally watched 10 minutes of the new Sabrina series, and I had to turn it off because I got scared. Um, I was alone in the house, and first episode within the third, uh, like first 10 minutes, I got scared. Like that's. I'm a scary cat and I couldn't watch it alone. It was just too much, you know? 
I got scared and I was like, nope, I'm not going to watch that by myself because I'm not going to be able to go upstairs by myself or shower or no. And I was like, nope, I'll just wait until somebody is home and then I'll watch them. Because that was me watching uh, uh, Mikey's from Glam and Gore um, Halloween tutorial. I haven't watched the last one, um, but I got scared. Mirror's dirty. It's dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, BH Cosmetics 10 color um, blush palette. And it has amazing colors. Um, I think for today, because we're going for a more like fall look, I'm gonna use this corner right here. It's kind of like a mauve color. So I'm just gonna take my Luxie br uh, brush. I really need to clean my brushes. Do you guys see James Charles' um, like revelation video for their um, his collaboration with Morphe? Um, I have the color for palette. I think I ordered it before they discontinued it. I started watching the video, like his video on the swatches, and that palette looks very promising. It looks very, very promising. Like the colors look really, really good, and I think I'm, I am gonna pick that one up. And I'm just using the Master uh, Chrome highlight to highlight my face today. For my crease, I'm just going to put a little bit of that contour shade that I use on my um, cheekbones from the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. And I'm just going to blend a little bit of this color on my crease with a really fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M533. And just a tiny bit. We don't want a lot of attention on the eyes because obviously the attention goes to like the bold um, lip. So, just a tiny bit. Make sure that you... Um, blend those harsh lines Okay, now that we have a little bit of color on our crease I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX epic ink liner and I just need another little mirror because I get super close so um, We're gonna do you can do either a tiny wing or a bold wing um, I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do because most likely it's gonna be either smaller or bigger than you know my plan was um with wing liner you never know so i'm gonna shake my liner so i usually start on my lid and i start lining my lid really close to our lash line so i start from my lower lash line actually made a mistake as you guys can see so now I'm gonna take a little bit of foundation and try to fix that because you know sometimes sometimes you you know this happens and you just gotta look for a way to fix it so I'm just taking a little bit of concealer or no foundation working it up like that to fix a mistake like I said I usually take it from the my bot bottom <laughs> I usually take it from the bottom of my lash and then I do that straight line and then I take it from here back to my um, lid line and then I just connect it just like that that is um, a thick wing but you know what? We're going to go with it because if you try to fix your liner, it's going to end up being a mess. I am telling you from experience for many times trying to fix it and it's just, it doesn't work. Fixing it makes it worse. Connecting it with our lid. I'm gonna take my mascara and I'm just gonna put a little bit of my mascara and then I'm gonna pop some lashes these are the Salon Perfect 614 lashes which are my favorite like everyday lashes while my lashes are drying I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of black liner this is the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof um, eyeliner and I'm just gonna do a little bit of this liner on my waterline 
I haven't worn liner in a long time. I feel so weird. I haven't worn um, black liner in some time now. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara to both my upper and lower lashes. I'm going to take a little bit of this highlight, the flexitarian highlight, and apply a little bit on my inner corner just because I can't live without my inner corner highlight. And because I use black liner, I want to bring a little bit more light to my eyes. For lips, I'm going to be pairing these two right here, and I'm taking the Milani Color Saving Lip Liner in the color Bordeaux. Bordeaux, Bordeaux, hmm? French word, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> and taking the Kat Von D um, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Exorcism. Now that we are done with our face, I'm going to go ahead and set everything with my Morphe um, setting spray. And here it is, the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!